Hello fellow smokers. This is a short instructional video on how to install a fireboard drive motor onto a Weber Smoky Mountain. The example here is going to be on the 18 inch mid-sized version of the Smoky Mountain, but I imagine the shutters are probably very similar if not the same size on the smaller 14 inch and maybe even the 22 inch Smoky Mountains. This can probably be used on kettle grills that have the same kind of shutter mechanism as well. I owned another four channel temperature measuring device before the fireboard and I upgraded to the fireboard because of the drive blower motor attachment, which my previous temperature monitoring device did not support. After the switch, my cooks went from a temperature roller coaster to pretty close to being a flat line when it comes to maintaining steady temperature. It also enabled me to run at temperature overnight without having to have alarms wake me up every two hours to adjust the shutters and get the temperature back on track. Besides the fireboard and the blower, I also had to purchase a drive blower nozzle adapter. Fireboard has several adapters for different configurations. So the one I used for the Smoky Mountain consists of a deflector plate that mounts on the inside of the smoker and it directs the airflow downward, not directly onto the charcoal. This side has the bolt that the outside piece attaches to, uh, which has the attachment for the blower motor uh, as well as a gasket. Instead of using a hole saw and drilling a large round hole, for my install, I decided to just remove one of the three shutters, the front one, and use the existing holes. So the first thing I needed to do was remove the rivet from the shutter in order to remove the shutter itself. And as you'll see, and based on my results with this particular drive blower, you can just retrofit the existing area where the shutter is mounted without the need to drill a large hole. After removing the rivet, I saved the shutter in case I ever decided to put it back to the original configuration, uh, you know, maybe if I was going to sell it. I cleaned it up a bit on the inside especially. Um, I'd been using this smoker for a long time before uh, updating the configuration. It's a simple matter of using a Phillips screwdriver on the inside of the smoker and tightening until the outside plate is secure. You don't have to worry about trimming off the extra thread that's left over on the bolt as this just goes into the exhaust port of the drive motor and doesn't really interfere with anything, but you could cut it off if it bothers you. Installation takes a short time. I think the hardest part for me was removing the rivet. You could also drill that out. Uh, I used a pair of needle nose pliers to kind of crimp it, shrink it, and then pull it out. Uh, it was a pretty thick rivet though, so if you use a drill, it would probably go a little faster. And as you can see by the image, while the entire square opening for the blower isn't completely unobstructed, it does capture quite a bit of the area of the three holes from the original shutter opening. In operation, I don't have any issues with the temperature not being able to be maintained. The blower seems to be able to push more than enough air through the existing holes, and the only time the blower is running at 100% is when a big temperature rise is programmed in. The battery charge for the fireboard and blower lasts for a long smoke, like a brisket for example, with no problems at all. I have never had the battery die on me in the middle of a cook. Here's what the finished product looks like installed. I really love having the control over the smoker temperature, especially on the really long cooks. No more fiddling with the four shutters. It makes a big difference. Here's another shot showing the smoke being generated. You leave the top shutter open all the way and the other two shutters at the bottom that aren't connected to the blower, you leave them fully closed. Temperature stability is excellent. Here's an example chart from the Fireboard app that shows how well the temperature is controlled and adjusted by the Fireboard controlling the blower. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you with your install or decision to automate your smoker.